Mr. Speaker. Uh, I call um, Barry Coates. Mr. Speaker, as a new MP, I'm going to try and be constructive with, uh, with all my uh, interventions, uh, as I said in my maid, maiden speech. However, I should say, in this case, uh, I find that to be a major challenge. Um, I'm obviously new to considering this Patents Amendment Bill, uh, but I've benefited from discussions with my colleagues. In reading through the history of this bill and the submissions so far and the discussions of the committee, I'm deeply concerned at the performance of the government on this bill. There's been poorly drafted legislation and poor government policy direction. Um, there was obviously a serious problem with the previous bill enacted in 2013 that had to be rectified by retrospective re legislation. Um, this is an extreme measure that the House should avoid wherever possible. However, due to poor drafting, we agree that it is necessitated in this case, and reluctantly the Green Party will support this removal uh, of the lack of unity for invention in order to rectify the problem with the 2013 bill. The original bill included a single patent application and a single examination process. Uh, these were strongly opposed by submitters, by the Green Party, and ultimately uh, by the committee itself. And I echo my thanks to the chair and members of the committee uh, from all sides for their acceptance of the need for change to this bill. The officials gen eventually agreed that the joint mechanisms with Australia would not be in New Zealand's interest and have recommended deleting Clause 5. Uh, the Green Party agrees, but we question how the draft bill was able to get to this stage without proper analysis. The process around this bill has been flawed. There's inadequate consultation on the provisions of the draft bill, a point made by many submitters. So the remaining pr substantive provision in this bill is a trans-Tasman licensing regime for patent attorneys. Um, we believe this needs careful consideration, particularly in the light of the failings outlined uh, uh, previously. We accept the case for updating and modernising the existing licensing regime under the Patents Act 1953. It is, as has been observed, over 60 years old, and we agree it's no longer fit for purpose. However, we've got continuing concerns over the pro remaining proposals in this bill. And we're mindful that they were opposed by all 13 submissions from patent attorneys and the submission from Fisher and Piker Healthcare Limited. For clarification, the opposition from these submissions are opposing the licensing provisions as well as those provisions that have already been taken out of the bill. We're particularly concerned by the lack in joined up thinking around the li licensing regime. A more coherent approach would have ensured that the key elements are in place before instituting trans-Tasman licensing, notably a New Zealand trademark or attorney scheme, New Zealand qualification scheme and an extended period for a New Zealand patent attorney to register in Australia. So we urge the government to put these missing elements in place. Not to do so, we think, would result in prospective New Zealand patent attorneys being disadvantaged in comparison to their counterparts across the Tasman and being required to bear higher costs. More broadly, we think there needs to be a review of the effectiveness of trans-Tasman harmonisation arrangements to ensure that there are not unintended consequences for New Zealand professionals. The establishment of this licensing scheme should not be regarded as a model for other professions other than how not to do it. An ideological push for harmonisation uh, won't work. Any change needs serious work and analysis, and we believe this is a cautionary tale for other attempts for cross-Tasman harmonisation. The licensing regime would, as the government has pointed out, create a level, level playing field in some respects. For example, the same set of criteria to register and practice would apply to New Zealand and Australian patent attorneys. However, since the locus for registration and licensing will be in Australia, it is unlikely that New Zealand patent attorneys will it is likely that New Zealand patent attorneys will need to bear additional costs for travel, and particularly if it's a protracted process such as a disciplinary hearing. 
There are also issues of governance that won't be so subject to a level playing field. In particular, a domination of Australian representatives on the Governing Council and Disciplinary Board established under Australian law is likely to mean that future development of licensing is likely to be more oriented towards the needs of Australian firms and not New Zealand patent attorneys. Similarly with the disciplinary process and rules. It may well be that the identical qualifications and codes of conduct would achieve the government's aims of harmonisation and cost effectiveness without sacrificing local flexibility and governance. So the Green Party accepts that major changes have already been made to this bill. We would, however, like there to be greater attention paid to the concerns raised by submitters, and particularly to the issues of joined up thinking on a trademark scheme and New Zealand qualification scheme. This should be done as a matter of urgency, uh, uh, and we would look to have assurances to that respect. We also consider there may be process of governance that would allow the establishment of something like a governance and disciplinary subcommittee of the board that would be specific to dealing with the application of a common base of common qualification standards and rules for application in New Zealand. We look forward to analysis about the impacts of the remaining elements of the bill on small business. It is a crucial consideration that we consider has not yet had sufficient scrutiny. In closing, we have concerns but we'd prepare, be prepared to support the bill uh, um, if there were assurances that the, these issues would be addressed in the implementation of the bill, and we'd be looking forward to further amendments at the next committee stage. Thank you.